Right. So the the Big Pine earthquake, you know, happened on the east side of the Sierra Nevada, and so that's here. This this is the Sierra Sierra Nevada. All right, this is the Central Valley. This is Owens Valley on the other side of the Sierra Nevada. And so that, that, that earthquake happened here. This is in a zone which is quite seismically active, and we're kind of accustomed to earthquakes occurring on that zone. We're also accustomed to earthquakes occurring of that style. Okay. Um, in contrast, if we look at the... Uh, so the active, the real zones of active faulting in this part of California, we have here on the east side of the Sierra, and then we have the San Andreas Fault System here. But you know the the Wasco earthquake is kind of um, out there in the middle of nowhere. Okay, it's not. Um, I lost the darn thing. Oh, here here it is. There there it is. Okay, um, and, and so it's not really close to where we normally expect to see. Um, earthquakes, except that, see, in this area we have these these little lines here are indicating places where we've shortened things and we've created domes with um, a different style of faulting. Um, however, uh, this earthquake appears not to be associated with that type of, of deformation, and it's much deeper. It's quite deep, in fact. So, so it's a bit of an oddball. It's it's not. Um, Unlike the Big Pine earthquake, um, this isn't the sort of event that is kind of more average.